Hello Drew, this is Tom. I want to show you how you can create a Google Doc and make it a blog and then share it in a way so that the Google operation will give you the URL that you can then place in your Blackboard site so the students will know where to, to go to start the blog. First off, I'm in my email and you'll notice over here on the right you have this little series of boxes. I'm going to click on that. This is one of the ways you can very easily get to Google Docs. Now you can access Google Docs this way or you can access it by going to Google Drive but you will need to have downloaded Google Drive in order to see that. Alright, I'm going to click on Google Docs. It's going to give me a page like this and I'm just simply going to select one of these uh, templates here just for an example. Okay, here's the template, and let's just say that this could be a course blog, and then you could put your information. Now what you need to do, and again, you'll notice whatever name it is here, it's going to show up here. Then after you do that, once you've done whatever you wanted to do here to build the assignment for the blog, the students will be able to fill it out right here. You need to go to the share command and this is real important you want to get a shareable link so click that and that URL is very very important now it's going to say here anyone at Doan EDU with the link can view you want for them to be able to edit or or comment okay maybe the comment would be the best thing for a blog they're simply making comments but either way and you can kind of test that out to see what you want there. The key is get the shareable link, okay? So that link, and what I usually do is I go up here and copy it and then click done. Okay, now I can go back in to uh, my Blackboard course and insert that into an assignment, let's say, and then students would then click on that link. It will go to Google Docs they'll see what you've written for the blog for information and instructions and then they can begin to comment or edit that document um, any way they want okay that's kinda of the way you can do it kinda of play around with it see if that would work 